welcome back to the channel. It's Evelyn and Luna here as always. Hello. You okay? Hi. Hello. And the most important thing first, a huge thank you to all of you for continuing to support us in this little creativity journey. Now, December and the festive season is most definitely upon us. And here in the Highlands, it really is much colder. In fact, it's now approached below freezing. This year has been particularly tough and it's difficult for both our minds and our wallets. So if I can give a little top tip here, my friends, it's that maybe you don't have to purchase gifts this Christmas. Maybe instead you could make something for your nearest and dearest and pour all your love and care into each brush stroke, each stitch, every single thing that you do to create something for them. How does that sound, Luna? Like your jumpers. So this week, my friends, I wanted to share something with you and it's going to be content for my subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, my friends, please do so by hitting the all important subscribe button down below and then you'll have access to this week's pattern where I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy mittens. But before that, most important thing, Lena. Should we go and get a cuppa? Do you want to see a cuppa? Come on, let's go. important things are done. Yes, you can have a cup of tea in a minute. This week I'm going to show you how to create a knitted set that will help keep you and your loved ones warm this festive season. We're going to make a berry and a pair of very easy to make and very quick mittens. So let's talk supplies. Yarn wise, grab 50 grams of double knit weight yarn for your beret and for your mittens you will need 50 grams of worsted or iron weight yarn. For our beret we need to use 4.5mm needles and 3.25mm needles. For the mittens, we need a pair of 4mm standard knitting needles and take a look at these gorgeous orange vintage ones that I lifted. And we also need a darning needle to make up our projects. to some knitting. To create a beret just like this one to accompany the mittens that we're creating today, head on over to the tutorial here on the channel and there's a link in the description box too. time to turn to that pair of mittens and because this is a really quick and easy knitting project it's perfect for beginners or for those of you who would like to pick up knitting again and because they only take 50 grams of wool per pair why not create a pair in every colour of the rainbow. I wear gloves like these all year long and they're great for those of us that suffer with colder extremities or conditions like Arthritis. Not to mention that knitting is amazing for all of us who suffer from things like that because it helps with our dexterity and our fine motor skills. But I can hear you all shouting, come on Evelyn, how do we create these mittens? So let's get to it. 
The pattern for these quick and easy knitted mittens is in three sizes and is exclusively available to subscribers of this channel in the community section. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can access the pattern too. After selecting your size, cast on the appropriate number of stitches and a little reminder that all the stitches we are using to create this little winter ensemble today can be found explained in the shorts on the YouTube channel right here. Firstly, knit in one by one ribbing for eight rows. Now increase to the stated number of stitches using a knit front and back increase, evenly distributing these stitches throughout the row. Now using stockinette stitch with alternate knit and purl rows, you're going to knit 36 rows. Now decrease to the number of stitches stated on the pattern using a knit two together decrease, distributing the decrease stitches evenly across the row. And now it's time to return to that one by one ribbing for eight rows once again. And to finish the knitting of your mitten, you're going to cast off using a stretchy bind off. To make up your mittens, grab a darning needle and using an invisible seam, you're going to stitch from that bound off edge, then leaving a gap for your thumb before seaming the rest of the mittens closed. And believe it or not, that is your pair of mittens complete.
go my friends how to knit your very own winter ensemble whether it's for yourself or for one of your loved ones and as you can probably see I absolutely love my mittens I hope you love them as much as I do now with everything going on in the world currently it's quite easy to get into the doldrums and it's important too to realise that not everyone enjoys the festive season. For example, they may have lost a loved one or there may be some difficult memories that they remember around this season. Whatever the reason, it's also a time that may cause quite a lot of financial worries for us. So my top tip this Christmas, my friends, instead of buying presents, why not be present? Spend time with those that you love and let them know how much you care. Lend them an ear and give them a hug because believe you me, you never know how much that means to people. And if you want to create them something special, take a look here on the channel, my friends, maybe even knit them a pair of mittens or two. But until next week, when I share with you another handmade Christmas project, take care, my friends. Love each other, stay safe. Bye.